Hi guys, welcome back to The Average. Today we're going to do a 100 page challenge. Now if you don't know what that is, it's when I flip to the 100th page of a book, in this case Little Women, and I find a prompt from that page. So it can be whatever I choose to take inspiration from, it's just basically a way to clear the dust and get rid of art block and do a good exercise. And if you guys want to do this, it's perfectly fine. Like I get people asking me if it's okay. Of course it's okay, more than okay. It's really cool to see people doing it. Oh, first of all, I got this book. It was gifted to me from Penguin. I went to a party in London and they gave me this book and they gave me lots of other books, but I think this one was one of the coolest editions that I've seen of Little Women and it's hardcover and I just really looking forward to reading it. I'm just going to flip to page 100 and then read through it and then try to pick something out of this page. It looks like it's a pretty short page because it's the start of a chapter. Um, and get some information from here and use it or pick it apart or take something, maybe an object from it or anything to create a prompt and I will get on with that. Okay, so page 100 is a little bit about Amy more than anyone and Joe who I think are kind of like my favourite characters. This page is talking, they're both talking about Lori and I can't say where the setting is, but I think they're on their way home or walking somewhere and Meg is also there, but Beth isn't there, so I don't know if she's there, but I'm going to assume that she's there with them. So I thought for this image, I'm going to be pretty generic and just draw the four sisters walking together on a country lane, maybe. And that is my idea and I'm going to stick with it because there's nothing really more to go on here. I could have done, because Amy talks about being in debt with her friends for owing pickled limes and, but then that is kind of going on to the next page. So I didn't really want to go with that. So yeah, I thought I'd just be keeping it simple for this first one. I think in the future when I do the 100 page challenge, I want to do more abstract ideas and kind of pick apart the references on the page and do more of that approach of thinking whereas this one was really like just draw the scene that you see because I think I had a little bit of art block over the holidays I think I was just a little bit burnt out from work and doing YouTube and illustrations so I think I didn't draw that much which is kind of shocking considering I had all that time off I just felt like resting I know that's terrible so I think this was like my first big illustration of the year And I wanted to take it pretty easy on myself. I did kind of try to get a little bit experimental with the background. I am for the first time using this wash that I bought in Japan and I really like it. I think it's the type that dries and then doesn't let you reactivate water. Like somebody told me that in the comments and whoever that was, thank you. Cause I was like, wait a second, maybe it is. And I checked it like the next day to use with water and it totally dried up. That is something good to know because I was gonna lay it down like a lot of it. So. It's good to uh, realise that before I waste it all. And yeah, I like the way that the sky is. I think it's looking quite nice. I tried to be a little bit experimental with my brush strokes and um, kind of put texture in there where there would be leaves and grass and things. And I hope that comes across nicely. My favourite thing about this drawing painting is that I like the way the characters look in the end. I kind of do a thick outline, which I was a bit worried about doing. And then when I did it, I was like, no, this looks nice. I'm going to keep going with this. I think overall it's loosened up some cobwebs that may have um, come up over the holidays. And I have unrusted myself and I'm ready to jump full time back into work and drawing and trying to be a creative person in all ways and shapes and forms and just putting a lot of pressure back on myself which I think is fine I think pressure is good I think when I don't have any pressure I kind of do slack off a lot so it's good to have something there like YouTube which makes me draw a lot I quite like the composition of this piece I in the beginning didn't really draw Beth in there but then I decided well she probably is there she's just been a bit quiet and I wanted to add her in and also because it helped um, centralize the image as well 
I really struggled with their clothes for a bit because I was thinking mm, what would they wear so I looked up some reference images and I was looking at the new Little Women film that's coming out but I think that's a very specific type of clothing that they're wearing or type of style for the film and I wasn't sure if that was super correct or if it was a stylization of what they would wear so I was looking at old fashioned clothing and looking at the way people drew that and stuff I probably got stuff completely wrong but it's my interpretation so I guess it's kind of okay I am being very very not hard on myself with this one because in the past I've been overly critical and I think I should just give myself a pat on the back for completing a big illustration after work when I'm tired and doing it and pushing through the pain because you know there's always that bit when you're doing a drawing and it's bad and you think like I want to give up on this I don't want to keep drawing this but then you push through it and you kind of get to a place where you like the piece and then you finish it and it's okay that's going to be my mantra for the year is just to keep going and finishing stuff and just doing it and try to have fun with it I really liked this paint. I picked a lot of really pastel colours and I was a complete idiot because I didn't pick up a yellow, which is obviously a bad faux pas if you know your primary colours. It's kind of necessary to mix any other colour um, to have yellow around if you want to make different colours. So that was a mistake and obviously because of that I have to go back to Tokyo and buy another one. I'm just kidding, I won't do that. <laughs> I might order one online though, even if it costs $16 or whatever it is, ouch. As you can see, I used my gouache uh, jelly paints and I took out the yellow from that, which is looking a little bit stained and green from me dipping into too many different colors, but it kind of worked. I need to get a new fresh yellow because it was really difficult to make the skin tones and everything. I decided that the sisters should all look quite similar. I think in my mind this is how they look, so they have similarities but they look different and a thing of mine was to try and make the faces look slightly different but similar because I didn't want to have like the same face on all of them but then I wanted to try and elongate different areas and try to have similar noses but slightly different noses and different features if that makes sense but similar hair and expressions? I don't know. Each of them is kind of having the expression from what the conversation is in the book. So in the book, Amy is telling Joe that she thinks Laurie looks like a cyclops on his horse and Joe is like, what do you mean a cyclops? And it turns out that Amy means a centaur and they're just laughing away and Amy's like, ah, leave me alone, I'm, I need to pay for my limes. And yeah, that's kind of the whole conversation on that page and it's really cute and I really enjoyed a little snippet. And yeah, I think it's nice. I hope I indicated that bond that they have and playful sisterly competitiveness that is clearly present between Amy and Jo. I think overall I really like the way that the piece turned out. I'm really happy with the pen. I think this is a thing I want to explore using thick and thin lines in certain regions of the painting. I'm going to keep trying to do that with my characters and I think it works. I'm not super happy with the way the background turned out. I think because I have these pastel colours, I just wanted to use them because I was really excited to use them. But maybe they weren't the best colour choice, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do more pastel stuff? I quite like the pastels on the girls. Maybe if I did a dark background, it would make them pop more. So maybe that's something I can explore in the future. Each of them sort of match with each other. I like the colour scheme of the whole piece because it is matching and you can see it as a scene maybe with a filter over it of just pinks and hues and I really like that about it. Maybe it's not too bad the background but definitely the women inside the painting are the main aspect of the painting which I guess makes sense doesn't it because it is little women. I really enjoyed doing this and I'm happy that I pulled out the 100 page challenge to try on this copy of Little Women.
Okay, so that's the overall final piece. I hope you guys enjoyed what I did with this 100th page challenge. If you guys want to do a 100th page challenge, then just go for it, like I said, and have fun with it. And yeah, pick a random book, flip to the 100th page, and draw whatever comes to mind. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!